Welcome to this instructional video on how to tie a, a wolf. It's kind of like the world coachman, except we use bucktail on the tail. And we'll get to the video and I'll explain it then. But the only one thing I want to make a note is, is a lot of the times they use a red yarn thread as the middle of the fly. I use an orangeish brown. Some people use red, some people use brown. And uh, I kind of went with the middle, went orange brown, and they work really well. You just could go back and see in our fishing video. So let's get to the fly. We started this fly by, by tying the thread in, head smanning it, and we're about leave the thread but exactly where you want you to tie your wing in. We uh, measure the calf tail wing. For measure for the length of the hook. Actually, it's about three quarters of the length of the hook because we're using a 3x hook here. It's a 3x size 12. Uh, most of you, you guys are wondering, because I'm about to tie the buck, black bucktail tail in, the tail of the fly, uh, why well, didn't go up and finish the wing? I've been watching other fly tires, and I can't remember exactly who showed me this, but it seems to make a more even body if you tie the tail in now, and then even out the body, so that when you go up, and then you go up and you do your wing, it seems the body's more even, I've noticed, so I do it this way. Notice I tie the tail in right exactly where I cut off the... Uh, wing material at. This way I could taper that body straight. It'll make it look really nice. Taper it real nice. And I tied the thread all the way back to the tail. Come back up. Wrap the thread wraps up. And go back up to where the wing is. Uh, and then you want to note, I want to cut, you want to cut all the little teeny hairs that are stragglers and all that off. So your body's nice and smooth, ready to tie in the uh, peacock. Now you want to wrap your thread back up and pull the wing back, calf tail wing back, and wrap. Thread wraps in front of the wing to get it to stand up. And I always try and pull tight on the thread as I can without breaking. You won't break your thread off. But wrap it and tight so that it gets the wing to stand up. And then you will go bring your thread to the behind the wing. Go through it, the middle of it so to split it. I kind of split, split it with my fingers first. And then you go through the middle. And then I go around the front of it, then through the middle again, around the front of it, and then I start my figure eights between the wing, and then back in front of it to make it stand back up if it's falling forward. Sometimes they fall forward with your wraps. And to get it stand straight up, and then you have a nice split wing.
I have to throw a little dab of head smack on all them wraps and be between the wing to keep this thing from coming on wrap later after the fish a couple of Now you tie in your first peacock feather and then you want to run your thread back up to about where you want the peacock hackle to stop. So if you can break the body down between the tail and the wing almost in thirds so that when you end up you still have time to, or room to tie the hackle in up behind the wing and from there at that point back it'll be in thirds. So then you want to tie your hackle up, wrap your hackle up, cut off the end and tie in your orange thread. Uh, then you want to wrap your thread up. I I made a little mistake and tied my uh, cut my thread a little too long. You want to, but don't make it too short because you want to cover that whole section up with solid orange. You don't want to have any of that under thread sh showing through. I wrap it up and around, as you can see, a lot to make it orange. Like I said, you could use red, you could use brown. Don't matter what thread color you use. Try different colors. You could use green. Who knows? What works in your area the best? Now, when you got that covered as much as well as you want, so you know it's nice and orange, you like it, looks good. You uh, tie that thread off with your tying thread, cut it off, and then you want to tie in your second peacock hackle, and you want to wrap this real style like you did the first one, up to and just leave a little gap there for your, uh, excuse me, for your. Uh, your hack would be tied in and to be wrapped around behind the wing. Now you tie in your two hackles. I use two hackles on these flies. I like to uh, tie lots of hackle on these flies. I use these flies most often. I don't ever fish with them just as a dry fly. Not usually do I do that. They probably work real well because I do have a lot of fish to take a dries when I'm. But I usually tie a leader on the back of this fly and use it as a dropper. And then I tie a nymph on the end of it. Which works really well if you watch our last fishing video uh all the fish were caught this way so i like to put the extra hackle on and uh the deer hair seems to help hold it up real well also if you use it as a dropper fly so i like to put two hackles on and i weave it in and out of the hackles you don't want to try and trap you get hackles running sideways and all kinds of different ways i try to avoid this even though when you tie it in front of the wing sometimes this happens I just pull it back and you know form my head
So you pull these hackles back and you want to start to form your head. Then you form a nice head on the fly, whip finish it, cut your tying thread off. Then I like to push it back with the, all the thread wraps for the head back with my thumbnail to clear the eyelets, make the eyelets perfectly clear and get it ready for the UV treatment. Uh, I like to trim all the guard, little hairs sticking out everywhere around the head of the fly. Just before I put the UV treatment on, I put UV treatment on uh, and then hit it with the light. If this is the first time you've ever seen our tying videos, uh, I ran into this UV stuff. You can see it in our product demo videos. Uh, I don't use head cement anymore. I just the stuff makes the fly last so much longer. You just put this stuff on. You don't want it thin. You don't want to make it too bulky of a head. Put it on pretty thin. Hit it with the UV light. It gets hard, and it resists water for like ever. It's good stuff. So this is how I finish my flies. So I'm gonna fast it up to the fast forward to the end of this video because you don't need to see me hit it with the light and everything. Hey, thank you for watching our video to the end. Hope you liked our tying instructions on how to tie a royal wolf. I like the wolf pattern better because it uses the deer hair tail and everything. And I use these as a dropper with a nymph. I put a piece of leader at the end of the, on the bend of the hook. Tie it off maybe a foot, two feet, depends how deep the water is. Put a bead head. Pheasant tail is one of my favorites or a flashback on the end of it. And, uh, fish it that way and that deer hell helps it hold up better as a tail so I use the Royal Wolf instead of the Royal Coachman and uh, you can see it really works well in our last fishing videos we uh, had a lot of action on that particular way set up uh, so go check out all our videos like if you get like this video give it a thumbs up Subscribe for more of our tying videos more of our fishing videos I think we're gonna hit the narrows and uh, big Fishing Creek next, I think. I'm not quite sure. We kind of, me and Tracy kind of go as we, where we decide to go that day. Or two days. A lot of times. Uh, actually, I think our next video will be the first day of trout. Fishing video, I think. Um, subscribe to our channel for all our videos. I hope you like our tying video. Uh, I think of anything I can remember. Oh, if you're coming to Pennsylvania, you go to our Facebook, you get a hold of us, leave us a message, whatever you want to do. If you're coming to Pennsylvania, we will take you out. Now, this is no charge. This is not a guide service. No charge. We'll take you out, tell you where to fish, show you what flies to use, or just get a hold of us and ask us what's going on in the area, what creeks to hit, what ones are hot. <clears throat> so we're going to offer this. This is no charge. We just kind of want to help fishermen that are coming to the area to have a good experience on the creeks. So get a hold of us on Facebook. Uh, I think it tells you sir, our phone number on there. I'm not sure. I think so. Get a hold of us that way. And uh, like I said, go check out uh, Rust Cat Rods to get your custom build rod for you. Uh, to check out Team Hanging Outdoors. They have a new show on Roku. Check out Gary at the Watsontown Flea Market, where you can get one of our stickers at his newsstand at the Watsontown Flea Market. Check out the Prince Creek Angler, 
We can get our sticker too in Wykert, Pennsylvania, Long Pens Creek. And uh, I think that's it. Thank you for watching.